Hey what's up everyone welcome to Effects Maniac this is Sayed Mahmoud Amiri and in today's video I've got a very cool tutorial for you guys so I will be showing you guys how to create this beautiful foliage growth effect using 3D Studio Max and Typeflow so here is a different angle of render so yeah uh, it looks pretty cool so I actually saw a blender tutorial similar to this and I decided to do it for you guys in 3D Studio Max even though I have done a tutorial previously about this subject here it is a Typeflow plant growth tutorial so it goes in depth over creating this very beautiful effect but in this case I just wanted to show you guys how to do this quickly and uh, like always the project files are available in my Patreon page you can just go ahead and grab it and it includes all the files so if I go into 3D Studio Max. Here is the scene. So all of them are included uh, with the project file in my Patreon. The project files for this is actually available on my Patreon shop. So if you go to my Patreon, click on shop and it is there. So if you're a member, you should be able to automatically download this. And if you're not, you can just buy it from here. All right. So yeah. And I do want to thank my patrons who are always there to help me. And uh, without you guys' support, I will not be able to do this. So keep supporting and keep enjoying. All right, so here it is. Everything is included in the project files, the rocks and the plants and the car model and everything. So uh, I'm just going to uh, show you guys a very simple version of this. And if you want to go in details and everything, um, do check out the tutorial for the plant growth and also uh, you can open up the project files for this and get an idea of what is inside so I'm gonna go file reset all right so here we are in an empty scene I'm gonna go into the extended primitives create a torus knot uh, it just looks cool so yeah um, I'm gonna add a turbo smooth to this so to smooth it out and we'll scale this down here and move it up and on hit J or shift J to hide the selection brackets and now I'm going to create my tie flow so I'll go into tie flow and I also need an object to sort of go through this to be able to activate the particles growing so I'm actually going to create a sphere and hit N and go to like 60 frames and move it through the object it doesn't have to like you know be in there just like make it pass through the object uh, and I'm gonna go to my tie flow and go to open editor uh, make it a bit smaller and I will go and add a birth and make it z uh, start and end to zero and we'll make like 2,000 particles and I'm gonna add hit tab position object and click on pick and we'll pick the object and you can see the particles if you cannot see it properly just change the color to like red so you'll see it and if you're new to Typeflow or some things doesn't seem familiar to you you can go to my YouTube channel I have a Typeflow basics tutorial I have a lot of Typeflow tutorials actually but um, I do have uh, Typeflow destruction basics Typeflow for absolute beginners Typeflow cloth. So this is a tutorial, Typeflow for absolute beginners, cloth and everything I talk about. So you can go ahead and check them out and also the growth tutorial for more details on the subject. Uh, so I'm going to go back here and I'll add a shape operator. Uh, in this case, I'm, I'm going to be using the uh, grass clump. But if you want the growth to be more stable and without any problems, you need to use, you can download these uh, free models from online from different websites uh, flowers and you know grass and everything uh, you can download them and bring them inside 3d studio max and use them as a shape uh, but in this case just to show you guys i'm using the grass clump uh, and the reason for that is because these models are actually having a different scale unit than a model that you bring in from the outside so uh, you better bring all the models from the outside so they're just in the same sort of um coordinates and uh, you know scale world or something okay so but in this case i'm using grass clump so i'm gonna add a scale operator uh put it 
down the shape operator and we'll set it to like 300 or 400 even. And if you want to give it some randomness, you can give it like what 20%. And I'll also hit tab and type in rotation and I'll add a random 3D rotation. And the thing is, uh, in order to, in order for them to like grow, we need to add this object. So I'll add a surface test, uh, and we'll put it down here. Make sure it is volume inside, and we'll pick this volume. And you can right click on this object properties and display as box. So it'll be just like that. And I'm actually gonna increase the number of particles to like what, ten thousand just like that and just make it like green for you know visual purposes and yeah so we can we can even hide the object or not hide because we want to see the object properly so um, now what I'm going to do is I'll add a scale operator and the trick here is very simple uh, you need to set this to absolute and set it to zero and we'll add another scale operator, put it at the bottom, set this one to absolute as well, and set the timing to continuous. And now we can just copy this shape, hold down shift and copy it, and we'll just link it here. And we'll drag the display here as well because we want the colors to be the same. Uh, for the both events. And now you'll see that they're hiding, and that's because we need to set the scale of this to zero. And now they're basically growing, but they're not growing, they're just like appearing there. So you can you can go ahead and increase this to like what, 400. But you do need to set the interpolation value from one to 0.1. So now they will be like growing on the surface. So now you can see that they're growing and if they're going fast, you can you can just go ahead and increase the timing of this object. And now they'll be like slowly growing across the surface of the object. You can also use the timer inside of Typhlow to slow them down, but I think they're looking very cool. And in order to even randomize them, what you can do is you can add a time test and delete the connection from the surface test here and add a time test here and it'll be like 10 frames and three variation and then link it here so now there'll be like a 10 frame variation between the growth of different particles so yeah here is the gist of it so this is how it is done very simply and you can add like multiple shapes as i said before uh, if you're using grass, you better bring your grass 3D model from online, download it somewhere, and also some flowers and stuff, just like I did here. And you can add them. And you can see that I've used the same sort of scenario and effect, so it's basically the same. Uh, so, yeah, here it is. And you can add, like, materials and lighting and everything and render it out. If you want to see more detail, you can just go ahead and open up the project file for this. And yeah, everything is available here. So the rocks and everything are populated on the ground. And we have the car, the material, the lighting, and everything is there. Uh, the project files, you can uh, find them in my Patreon shop. So you can click on shop and it'll be available there. Yeah, so you can you can buy them from here and also it'll be there for the members to download. So you can if you're a member of my Patreon, uh, you can you can download it automatically. And if you're not a member, you can just buy it. All right. So, yeah, this was the today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you learned something from it. Uh, and uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure to do so. It would really help me. And if you really want to support me and get some awesome project files, just join my Patreon page. All right. So yeah, uh, this was today's video. Till the next one, enjoy working.